Well, hello, International Falls area. This is Sean Mason and Ronna McKay from the Elks Lodge number 1599 in International Falls, Minnesota. And we will be hosting again this year the Community Thanksgiving Dinner. And we are going to be doing some home deliveries to folks who are shut-ins, not able to get out. Maybe they don't have transportation. Maybe they're in a wheelchair or a walker and just cannot get out of the home or wherever they may be residing. Mm -hmm. And we will do deliveries for them. Yes. And when will those deliveries be happening? We will do those from 1030 until 1130. And then 1130, our doors will open up here for people to come in and dine in. And um, if they want carry out meals, they can come in and we can help them through the line with their carry out meals. You know, during the COVID season, we had curbside pickup. And we are not going to be having that this year because we believe it's time to go back to the in house dining mm -hmm. in the back hall of the Elks Lodge because mm -hmm. that's how the Thanksgiving dinner got started, right? Yes. It was for fellowship. It was fellowship. Yes. I mean, there's quite a few people in our community who who are alone. Mm -hmm. Or who wants to cook a big turkey for two or three people. Right. So and so, so maybe nice. and or they can't really you know, with inflation this year yeah. too, I'm expecting that there's gonna be a few people that might go without a Thanksgiving meal if it weren't for the Elks Lodge. So mm -hmm. this year we're gonna have dine-in style. And again, as we said, we will deliver to those who are shut-ins and do not have transportation. Mm -hmm. If you are able-bodied and you have transportation and you don't want to dine in the back hall, you are welcome to come to the lodge and go through the line with a to-go container and we will fill it up for you and you can take it home. Mm -hmm. But we aren't doing curbside pickup this year. We're doing dine-in style. So we just want to emphasize, emphasize that. Yes. And what's on the menu? We will have turkey. <laughs> and we'll have some mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes. And, and we have a special person handing out buns. <laughs> yes. And we have stuffing. What well, would have Thanksgiving stuffing. turkey and yeah. dinner be without <laughs> stuffing, of course. Yes. The cool thing, though, I think is really amazing is Mrs. Lyons' class at the high school yes. has been doing this for quite a while. The kids make the pies. Yes. So we'll have two choices. Mm -hmm. And it's so much fun. Oh, yes. We have the pumpkin and apple pies. And it's so much fun to see the difference in each pie and how they decorate them and everything. And so I think the kids have fun with this. Yeah. They decorate mm -hmm. them. And so... It's always fun to be on the pie cutting team. I was on the pie cutting team last year and it was like, ooh, look at this one. They went to make this. Oh, this one they didn't bake long enough. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And people really appreciate getting pie from the, the students. So a big shout out to Mrs. Line. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the school to, to yeah. A, it's it's a lot of work to make a pie. It is. Pie crust it is a lot of work. Yes. And and the pies are normal pie size. Mm -hmm. And we're only using six pieces per pie. So it's a nice piece a nice of dessert. Pie. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're excited about it. Mm -hmm. but we get a lot of volunteers who want to help out with this dinner. We still have room for a few more. If you're yes. interested, mm -hmm. just call Rana and she'll get you assigned to a spot. Mm -hmm. But we have some longtime volunteers who have been in this, doing this for years and years and years. Yes. Yes, we have our potato guy, Mr. Jim <laughs> Dornhecker. He's ma mastered that. Yes, and Joanne, and his Joanne. wife, yeah, yes. who's really mm -hmm. helpful with getting everything organized for those who are going to be delivered mm -hmm. uh, to their home, you know, yes. for the shut ins. And so we have volunteers ranging from ages in their early 90s to high school kids. A lot of high yep. school kids will show up and say, I want to volunteer, just put me yes. in a spot. Mm -hmm. And it's important for them to do that because some of them actually are thinking ahead of time. They're thinking this will be good because it looks good on our resumes okay, when yes. we are filing for scholarships. And I think the kids that do that, it's really in their bones too. Yes. I mean, it's they don't do it just for that. What I'm seeing mm -hmm. is these kids that come forward and volunteer, you look at them a few years after mm -hmm. high school and and beyond, and they're doing amazing things. They are community leaders in, in International Falls in mm -hmm. whatever and community. We've, we've got the Scrine family, husband, wife, and their two daughters that come and do. They've been here for quite a few years. Yeah. And so it's fun to see them come and, coming back, and the kids always have a smile. Yeah, so it's tradition mm -hmm. for a lot of these volunteers. And you, some of the volunteers change out 
for instance, I haven't been involved in the dinner personally, except for the last few years, you know, because mm -hmm. leadership is like a relay race, right? You pass the baton on when it's time to pass mm -hmm. the baton. And so I give kudos to the folks at the Elks Lodge who started this, and I believe they started it with the Salvation Army years ago. So kudos to the Salvation Army mm -hmm. uh, for starting this so many years ago. And so some of the volunteers have been here since day one, and some of the volunteers are relatively new. Yeah. So. Um, if you anyway. want to volunteer, though, it's best to call ahead so that Rana can get you squared away in a position. But mm -hmm. if by chance you wake up Thanksgiving morning and you're thinking, yes, I think I'd like to volunteer, come on down. Yep. If, if we have a slot open, we'll certainly fill you in mm -hmm. into a spot to help yep. volunteer. So this is free. This is a free meal. And mm -hmm. it's compliments of a grant that the Elks Lodge got through the Elks National Foundation. It's called a Beacon Grant. And so we applied for a $4,000 grant and we got it. And so that's $500 more than last year because mm -hmm. <laughs> inflation. Things have gone up. Things yes. have gone up. Yes. So. And, you know, and we, we do accept donations as well. And so it all chips into the big pot. So yeah. it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. So, Rana, would it be okay if we release your phone number to those who would like to yes, volunteer? Yes, if you want to volunteer, give me a call. Call my cell phone, 218-340-9368. Um, or you can reach out uh, through Facebook Messenger. You can do that as well. And, and jo Joanne is the one taking the... Yes. The, it, keeping the list for I the... I just don't have her phone number yeah, right her now. Phone. But um, you can call me on that, and I can forward on the message as well. Um, we do ask that you don't call the Elks and um, because sometimes there's nobody here to answer the phone. So call us. That would be great. Well, we hope to see you here on Thanksgiving. If, if, if you feel like you would like to have fellowship, mm -hmm. if you um, are having struggling with your budget and just need, um, need a place to go for Thanksgiving, you know, if you're alone, if you're financially strapped, if you just yearn for fellowship, mm -hmm. this is the place to be on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 24th. Yep, we wish you all a happy Thanksgiving.